Hello friends, this video on neat dual nature of radiation and matter is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. For photoelectric emission from certain metal, the cutoff frequency is nu. If the radiation of frequency 2 nu impinges on the metal plate, the maximum possible velocity of the emitted electron will be. Okay, so again, first let us make use of the photoelectric equation which is k max is equal to e minus phi. So what would be the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons? It would be given by half mv square. So why are we writing it in this form? Because here we are bothered about the velocity of the emitted electron. So kinetic energy of the emitted electron is written in terms of its velocity. So this will be equal to E that is H into nu minus phi which is H into nu naught because here the, it is, the cutoff frequency and frequencies are also discussed. So we have written the photoelectric equation in terms of velocity of electron, cutoff frequency and frequency of the radiation. Perfect. Okay, now in the question what is given, now as per the question, according to question, the value of the cutoff frequency is nu, that means nu naught for us is actually nu in the question. Similarly, nu for in our formula is actually equal to 2 nu as per the question. So these are the values which are given in the questions. So let us put those values. So what do we get? We get half mv square is equal to h into 2 nu minus h nu. So this is equal to 2 h nu minus h nu that is equal to h nu. So therefore we can say v square is equal to 2 h nu divided by m. Therefore v is equal to root over 2 h nu divided by m. So c is the right option. Question number 5. A 200 watt sodium street lamp emits yellow light of wavelength 0.6 micrometer. Assuming it to be 25% efficient in converting electrical energy to light, the number of photons of yellow light it emits per second is. So in this question, what is given? It is given that so we are talking about power and we are also talking about efficiency. So you see whenever you have a problem, just try to see what are the uh, numbers or what are the values which are given in the problem and what are those quantities which you which you need to relate. So here in this problem you are given power and you are also given the efficiency right. Now we, we already know that what is efficiency. Efficiency is always output divided by input right like how efficient it is. So when we talk about efficiency in this case it would be output power by input power. So what is the input power which is given here? It is 200 watt. So the uh, lamp is of the power of the lamp is 200 watts. So this is our input power. Okay. Now what is our output power? So if you talk about the output, output would, would always be what that lamp emits. So it says that the light, light the lamp emits yellow light of wavelength 0 0.6 micrometer. Okay. So that means what is the energy that this lamp emits? So the energy would be equal to H nu or which can be written as Hc by lambda. Correct. So this would be the total energy that is emitted. Okay. So now here we the question is asking us to find out the number of photons of yellow light. So basically we are considering light as the particle nature of light where light is made up of many photons. So when we talk about the energy this is basically going to be n into h into c by lambda where n represents the number of photons because what is h nu? E is equal to h nu. Here E is the energy of one photon. So h c by lambda is basically energy of one photon. So here it has multiple photons. So we assume that here the light has n number of photons. So the energy of n photons could be n c n h c by lambda and therefore the power of these many photons the power of the emitted light would be equal to energy per unit time which is equal to n h c divided by lambda t 
so this would be the power of the emitted light so basically this would be the output power so this is our input power and this is our output power right so we know that efficiency is equal to output power by input power so output power is nhc by lambda t this divided by input power so this entire thing divided by 200 watts okay so now how can we write this so this can be written as now eta is given so what is the value of efficiency it is given as 25 percent so 25 by 100 is equal to n into h into c divided by lambda t into 200 so now we know all the values h is Planck's constant c is the speed of light lambda is the wavelength which is given as 0 0.6 micrometers and what is t t here would be one second because here we are talking about the number of photons that it emits per second so t is equal to one second so we know all the values except n so we can say n is equal to and this 25 by 100 is actually 0.25 right so n will be equal to 0.25 into 200 into lambda t divided by hc now let's put the values so this will be equal to 0.25 into 200 into lambda is given as 0 0.6 micrometer so we convert it into meters so it will be 0 0.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 t is anyways equal to 1 second this divided by h is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 into c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 so when you calculate this it approximately comes out to be 1.5 into 10 to the power 20 so these many photons will be emitted per second so a is the right option so you see how did we approach this question we saw what is given in the problem efficiency was given and input power was given so we you know we used our brain to calculate the output power so once you do that you will see that everything else is given to you only one variable is left so you just calculate the value of that variable question number six a source S1 is producing 10 to the power 15 photons of wavelength 5000 angstrom. Another source S2 is producing 1.2 into 10, 1.02 into 10 to the power 15 photons per second of wavelength 5100 angstrom. Then power of S2 by power of S1 is equal to. Now first let us try to find out the relationship between power and wavelength. So we know that power is nothing but energy per unit time and what is energy? Energy of one photon is hc by lambda. So energy of n number of photons would be nhc by lambda this per unit time. So this is how power is linked to the number of photons and wavelength. Perfect. So now let us talk about the source s1. So for s1 p1 would be equal to n which is equal to 10 to the power 15 photons so 10 to the power 15 into hc divided by lambda is given as 5000 angstrom and we know that one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meters so 5000 angstrom would be 5000 into 10 to the power minus 10 into time is one second because everywhere it say these many photons per second so time is one second similarly for the source s2 p2 will be equal to n is equal to 1.02 into 10 to the power 15 into hc divided by lambda will be equal to 5100 into 10 to the power minus 10 into 1 so now we have to calculate the ratio of the power of s2 to s1 so that means we have to calculate p2 by p1 is equal to 1.02 into 10 to the power 15 into hc divided by 5100 into 10 to the power minus 10 this multiplied by 
5000 into 10 to the power minus 10 divided by 10 to the power 15 into hc so hc and hc will get cancelled 10 to the power 15 and 10 to the power 15 will get cancelled 10 to the power minus 10 10 to the power minus 10 will also get cancelled so we are left with 1.02 into 5000 divided by 5100 so this is equal to 5100 divided by 5100 which is equal to 1 is to 1. So that's the ratio. So this is A. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.